Hello, hope you're doing well. Today we'll see how we can manage projects and translate in the browser. First we log in and then what we can do is create users for our colleagues. We go to the admin tab and then click on users. We can here manage users or create new ones. So let's go ahead and add a user. Enter the details and then if we are creating a user for a project manager or administrator we also need to add that person to the group of administrators or project managers. Now that we have created a user we can also create projects. We click on projects and here we can either manage existing projects or create a new one. We can create an automated project based on a template or a manual project by clicking on this option. We'll give this project a name. We'll select the languages. You can also enter other meta information and once you're fine, click on create project. Now you can also import documents. You can drag and drop them over here or click to browse for them. Click on open. And then you can also specify the filter. So if there is something special that needs to be imported, like comments, track changes, or any other characteristics in XML, for instance, you can define the filter and this will import the content that you need to translate. After you are done, click on Import Documents. Now that the files are imported, you can select which translation memory will you use to store your translations. So you go to the Resources, and first select the translation memory and then either add an existing translation memory or create a new one. You can also enter other meta information and then click on create translation memory. You can also do the same thing with the term basis. Term basis is basically a glossary which will contain your approved terminology. Here you can add an existing term base or create a new one. Enter meta information if you need to and click on create TB. When you do this, the next step would be then to analyze the document so that you see how many translations you already have in your translation memory. You do this by going to the reports and click on create new report under analysis. You can change the settings here if you need to and then click on create report. When the report will be created, you will see the summary here. The last step would then be to assign linguists to the files. So we go to translations and here we pick the linguist. We can assign only a particular file, all the files that belong to one language or all the documents. You can also change the assigned file to and reassign it to somebody else. You can also change the deadline and you can do the same thing also for the reviewers so the first reviewer and the second reviewer. When you are fine with this, click on launch and this will send emails to everybody that is assigned to the files with all the necessary instructions how to access the project. The email will contain a link so you can simply click on it and you'll open the document. Now let's see how translation is done. To translate a document you simply log in 
you go to WebTrans, and here you will see your assigned documents. You can open a document by clicking on the pencil, and this will open the editor. Here you can also switch on the preview. The editor will show you the source text, split into sentences. The preview is interactive. And in the middle part, you'll enter translations. On the right side, you will see different matches from different sources. You can also adjust the size of the windows. Let's now translate a couple of sentences. When you type the translation and when you are fine with it, click on a shortcut, control enter to confirm the translation and store it into your translation memory. Or click on this symbol. Then you will jump into the next line where MemoQ will automatically insert the best match that it can find. Here it found an 80% match. This means that something needs to be changed and what needs to be changed is always displayed here. So MemoQ was replaced with 2018. After we are fine with this, we again use Control enter to store the translation into the translation memory. What we can also do is enter terminology into our glossary so that our colleagues can also see it. So we highlight both terms and then we click on this symbol and confirm it with OK. Then you will see this term marked in blue. Also it will be displayed on the right side. And now if you mistype this or write something else like you will see here a little warning. So this little lightning will tell you if there are issues. So you can double click and see that we didn't use the term that is in the glossary. So we can close it and write the translation and then the lightning goes away. What you can also do is if you are translating longer sentences, you can also search for smaller parts or shorter parts and see if you have translated them. So what you do, you highlight the um, search part and then you click on this symbol. And this will list all the entries, all the sentences that contain in this case annual report. And then you can choose the one that fits best. Click on close. What you also can do if you are using MemoQ to do revision, you can use track changes. You can simply switch them on and write a correction. You can also post comments by clicking on this symbol. There will also be a spell checker if you mistype something and the, the words will be underlined. One important thing are also these symbols, those uh, elements, they are called tags. Now tags define how a text is structured basically. So as you see in the preview, we got this yellow part and the tags define actually this yellow part. So what you need to do, just copy them. You can simply copy source to target and then replace the, the text or you can do it like that, that you, you translate and then insert text using this symbol or simply F9. After you are done with the translation, you can simply deliver it so that the project manager can then export it into the native format. 
the last step now is for the project manager to log in and export the file into the native format. Select the project. Here you will see the overview. And under translations, you can select the files that are translated and export them. The first option will export the file into the native format. So as you can see, the style was preserved, also the yellow part is there, and this completes the workflow. Now if you would like to know more about topics like term extraction, working with frequent updates, preparing complex files, automation, best practices for resource management, project management, uh, machine translation, video localization and others, feel free to check out our website or simply reach out to your favorite person at MemoQ. Thank you for the attention, until next time, take care, bye bye.